Welcome to the Comfy Creative. I'm Sarah. Wait, you know, the Creative Talks. Hi, this is Creative You're Talks. Talks. Comfy Creative. Wait, this is, this, okay, say it one more time. Hi, this is Creative Talks with the Comfy Creative. I'm Sarah. And I'm Scott. Um, and in today's video, um, we're going to talk a little bit about why Sarah loves creativity things to her because we talked about that in last week's or i think it was actually a couple weeks ago we talked about it before and scott shared some really good thoughts about why this compti the compti creative and creativity and all this stuff means a lot to him um so for me i was kind of thinking about it this morning and okay. i i think the biggest reason it, it all comes down to my childhood because I was a huge dreamer as a child. Um, I loved Peter Pan. I loved anything magic. I loved imagining this world where anything was possible and like just the idea of magic everywhere. And I, I remember one time with a youth group, we went to, I think we went to Sundance and we, it was during the fall um, and we were just hiking through some different trails to a waterfall, actually. Um, don't know if I could find that place again, but it was really cool. But it, was, it felt magical to me because I remember all the leaves were very colorful and they were falling down. And I just love moments like that when it's like you're just enveloped in this beauty that's happening around you. Have you ever looked oh, up, magical. like when it's snowing, have you ever just like looked up at the snow? Yeah. And it feels incredible. It almost feels like you're flying through stars or that you've got like this magic showering down on you i've um, done it i don't think i've ever thought of it that way but that sounds great that that's sounds how my imagination nice. works i guess <laughs> i don't know um but it all comes down to that like i've always i guess when i was younger i kind of lived in this dream world and in some ways i still do <laughs> i hope anyway i never want to give that up because i i treasured that as a girl like i remember like sitting on my bed every night and looking up at the stars because my bed was right by the window and I'd look up at the stars and I'd make wishes on the stars and I would just watch them mostly because I loved Peter Pan so much. I was hoping that if I looked at the stars, he would come and take me to Neverland. I don't know. Never happened because I grew up and now he would never take me to Neverland. I'd have to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Neverland, more like never going oh Sad. Um, anyway i really want to fly though <laughs> so your youth played a big part in yeah creativity so it's about, today. Like, i'm i dream and i feel like creativity is a way for me to embrace my imagination and to help make that magic come to life so that's why i love writing that's my biggest creative passion is writing and the stuff I write is very magical like if you take Britta on fire for example it's about a girl who has a magical ability to create a fire um, the new book that I've got out with beta readers right now that is about a girl who is basically a sorceress and she's got incredible power and then I've got all these other ideas in my mind about like people who can fly or people who can create light, which is something that you and I talked about because the crazy dream I had last night. <laughs> um, and then, I mean, of course, I like creating in other ways, like through like decorating cakes. I like doing different crafts. And it's a way for me to bring the things that are in here, my dreams, my imagination, and kind of bring them out into the world. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes a lot more sense, actually. I mean, we've been married for a while, but making that connection between kind of a fantasy um, childhood and making that a creative work when you're an adult. But I also admire that you are adaptable as well, right? Because now you do yoga. You are looking into cakes. And maybe that's somehow some people just think, well, I can only be creative one way. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, as you as you demonstrate, creativity isn't one sided. It's more of a journey. It's a lifestyle that you're you're being creative. You can have multiple 
you know, asset, uh, not assets, but avenues. <laughs> nice. So, very cool. Do, do you think your parents played a role in creativity? Yes. Because my parents have always been creative. I mean, my dad has, my dad works with wood. He does a lot of stuff with wood and he's created some really cool stuff. Um, like boxes and binders and um, he, I mean, he's, uh, in a way, everything that he has done in his careers, his different careers, has been very creative as a brick mason um, in construction. That's all creating something. And yeah, there's a lot of analytical side to it, but it's actually creating, it's creating something. It's making something, right? My mom, too, um, her biggest creates creative passion has always been sewing. I wish I had learned to sew from her because I think I had plenty of opportunity. It just never interested me when I was growing up. Um, but she's made some beautiful clothes. She made my wedding dress, um, which I Let's love. <laughs> and she's made some other just incredible things. She's also been really big into, I mean, she's redone furniture. She's painted a lot of different things. She. She got into wood burning when I was younger and did that for a little bit. Um, yeah, so I, my parents have been, both of them have been very creative. And I think that they um, they have encouraged us to be creative. In fact, I remember one time I was, years ago before we got married, um, I was talking about going to grad school and possibly going into um Having integrated marketing, I think is what it was, because I was working in marketing anyway at the time. I was like, well, maybe I should go farther into it. And I was thinking about getting a master's in it. My mom oh. came to me and she said, I don't want you to give up on your dream because she knew how much I wanted to be a writer and she was worried about me going that route and then never actually living my dream of being an author. Crazy. Oh. Yeah good mom she's an amazing mom I still and I do I admire your parents for that fact as well um, obviously um, they've you know put a lot of their dreams on hold because they're incredible parents and they support their children a lot but I still find it fascinating that they they still find time to be uh, creative themselves your dad yeah. doing wood turning and your mom's still doing sewing. Um, so I think you have a great background. But going back to you, um, you know, because this is about you and being creative, I, I, I find that really fascinating <laughs> that it, it kind of stemmed from a young age. I, I do remember a time in our marriage, though, uh, when you were working and you weren't able to be creative as much. Um, Touch on that. How did you like? How did you feel? Why? Why? What were the trials? Why? Why weren't you being as creative? What made you? What helped you get out of that? That's interesting because that was an interesting time that we both know. Um, I worked in a corporate job, and I was doing very well in that corporate job, um, but it was very stressful. And I had a lot of anxiety, and it was really hard for me to come down from that anxiety. And also, because of who I am, sometimes it's hard for me to understand that I have anxiety or that I have things that are causing harm to me mentally. And I don't usually realize that until I blow up and then something horrible happens. Um, like having a horrible anxiety like attack that I can't come down from for like two weeks. <laughs> starting a fire, right? Yep. <laughs> That didn't happen. That, um, that didn't was happen. the big thing. I had so much anxiety. And, you know, in a lot of ways, people say you need to have your creative outlet to help you come down from that. But it was so bad that I couldn't even allow myself to relax and enjoy creativity. I think that's why the come to creative means so much to me now is I feel I, I know what it's like to... Um, not be able to live my creative passion that I really want to because of the things that are going on mentally or possibly physically. I, 
I haven't had that issue, but there are probably people who do. And um, I think that's the biggest thing is I want to help people see that or maybe help them find a way to still embrace that creative passion. And that's, that's actually, I mean, we probably should end the video soon, but that's kind of a good, a good segue. I'm just so fascinated. I find this very fascinating, um, and I hope other people do. But so what is like, um, so why be creative? I guess that's what we were really, you know, that's kind of the, the primary question. Why, why is it so important for you to be creative? And we'll, we'll end the video on that, though. Like me personally to be creative? Yeah, for you personally, why is, well, why is the company creative important? But why is creative in general important to you? And why should it be important to others? So the way I see it, and this is all stemming from my personal experience, that I imagine there are others out there who are in very similar boats. But um, I, really, I believe that we're all creative to be creative. Like, think about how you are as a child. Like, your imagination is incredible. But somewhere along the lines, through school or through society, we're taught to be more robotic in nature. And we lose a lot of um, that creativity, a lot of that imagination. Um, and so I feel like it's really important for us to come back and embrace that because it's, it's coming back to ourselves. Cre embracing creativity is not only about just building something and creating something. It's about embracing who you are. So I guess maybe that's why people aren't as creative because maybe they, they view it that way. And I, I think I've been in that situation where they view it as, well, to be creative, you kind of have to go to a more juvenile mind then, right? Because how you're saying, be as a child, children are extremely creative. And there are still people that can be creative, but you're right, we, we live in a society where it's very, you know, follow these rules and you have to, you have to do these steps. Always worried about what other people think and how other people are going to react to this and are other people actually going to like it. Exactly. And it's like, but if you like it, isn't, isn't that what matters? It's true. Anyway, we probably should end sure. getting... <laughs> I was just going to. Um, so thank you, Sarah. This has been uh, very enlightening about your journey to, to and from and to again creativity so thank you for that um and thank you for everyone watching if you have any questions for sarah any follow-up questions she would love to answer them and uh, uh if you have any uh any suggestions any comments be sure to leave them um and remember to follow us and to subscribe and we'll bring more great content to you so yep thank you all creative out